All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching, we're gonna be watching a family Christmas movie today. I would have done this movie a little bit ago, but it just came out. So we're gonna be watching it today for the holiday season, the holiday spirit, and that is Smile. Now, what do I know about this movie? I know it's a Christmas movie that just came out and it's about family, so. Oh my fucking God. Wait, I just, bro, what? Bro, okay. Um, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full-length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as an early access to to the next movie I do. So let's get started. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened? Oh my god, do I wanna watch this right now? I don't know if I do actually. I don't know if I really wanna watch this right now. <laughs> It's like fucking 1 a.m. Why did I start this so why did I start this movie so late? Oh, that's nice. Oh my fucking god. I fucking oh my god. Dr. Cutter. He's gonna die. Oh god, he does not look good. No, dude, he said that so quietly that I have to turn up my volume, and then they're just gonna get me so hard. All around me, squeezing. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, give me my... Can't have this. Promise. Okay, well... Ooh, it's pink, wow. Um, it's one of those cases where, like, they just think he's insane, but, like, what he actually saw is real. <laughs> With a hammer. She was interviewed as the only witness. Mm. A hammer? Oh, <laughs> what's up? Hey, Matt. No, but I need you to understand I'm a PhD candidate. I'm not some lunatic. I'm seeing something. Something no one else can see except for me. I know how insane that sounds. I do. This thing, I can't explain it. What is it you're seeing? It looks like people. But it's, it's not a person. Sometimes, sometimes it looks like my grandfather who died in front of me when I was seven. It's, it's like it wears people's faces like, like masks. Okay. Do you see it right now here? Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna show it on her. It's gonna show it on the doctor and scare the fuck out of us. It's not an hallucination. No, it's real. You don't get it. it. It does things to me. It causes shit to happen around me. It's taken over my whole life and my mind. And Overwhelmed or experience an intense trauma, our minds... You're not to... listening to me! I'm gonna fucking die and no one will listen to me! Okay, Laura, <laughs> can you look at me, please? It's gonna... it's gonna show... God. Okay. Okay, she saw it, but we didn't see it. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus. That is terrifying. <laughs> I got Laura. <gasps> uh. Damn. So, RIP Laura. Oh. Yeah, staff was a bit too late on this one. So now I'm guessing the doctor is going to start seeing it and it's going to infect her. Like, whatever the fuck this thing is. That's probably what the very first dude was seeing, too. That was not pleasant. <gasps> oh, no! Guys! I literally looked over at my phone because I noticed something. I was like, what the hell? Dude. Dude, the camera cracked. God damn it. 
Oh wait, the camera's still good. It's still... Look, it's not cracked. Let's go. She was having paranoid delusions. What kind of delusions? She was convinced that some sort of evil presence was haunting her. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should believe her now. But, nope. Uh, before she died, she was smiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She sounds fucking crazy to me. <laughs> Ugh, oh, God. <gasps> Kitty! I swear to God, if that cat fucking dies. I'll turn this movie off if that cat dies. Oh, she's gonna close the fridge door and some shit's gonna be there. She's gonna see Laura. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Oh my f so, mm. Whoa. Wait, wait! Wait, that's A train. What the f what the fuck? That's A train. What the fuck? Maybe we should bail on dinner tonight. Shut up, Jackson Jean birthday. Yeah, she feels guilty for like not believing Laura. Barely have any time to run my own errands. Like, I haven't been to Pilates in a week, so my body is so f Jesus Christ, I would have just stayed home. And then I have to take him to either soccer practice, swim lessons, correct. Hey! Ugh, look at this, guys. You see what she has? Can't have this. I'm just saying, why become a doctor if you can't get disgustingly rich? So it's about saving people. It's about getting rich. She loves being a doctor. She do it for free. Yeah. I mean, the money's nice, but like, it's about saving people. It's not about the money. Dude, motherfucker, give me my fucking sock. The money for the land. Can you guys just shut the fuck up? Oof. She is stressed. No. No. I love you, but you can't have my socks. She pulled out a bunch of her hair overnight and swallowed it all. They took her down to medicine to have her stomach. Oh, I'm sorry if that was weird. That's your job. I get it. Hey, Ben. So why are you here? Ooh, this is awkward. I appreciate it, but I don't need you to check on me. Right. No, yeah, I mean. But he tried. You do know she's engaged, right? Oof. Yeah, that, that sucks. That's tough. I'm single. Ooh. I bet, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Amber sees a bludgeon himself. Nala, what do you want? Do you want it inside or out? Oh, oh, I thought that was my phone. Just dealing with some stuff. I wasn't being very good company. Oh! <laughs> She's gonna keep seeing Laura everywhere. Mm. He's smiling. <laughs> How you feeling today? Great. Oh god, he's like in a trance. She's gonna die. Ooh. I'm gonna die. Everybody die. That's what he was saying. You're going to die! Ooh. You're going <laughs> Damn. Well, when you presumed that Carl Rankin was a danger to himself, that that's what your mind was reacting to? Mm. A paid week off. Morgan, that's really not necessary. You've been working. Oh, paid week off? A bed. Just do what you gotta do and come back focused, okay? Is that vision? At the very bottom of getting on the train? Sorry, stuck at work. Ah, oh, fuck. Great, you're really gonna leave me here home alone with all my thoughts like that? <sighs> oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Fuck! Yeah, fuck. Jesus. My entire body got cold right there, dude. Oh my god. Bro, what triggered the this alarm, dude? What the fuck? Mm. Dude, it's not a false alarm. I'm calling A train and tell him to get home immediately. <laughs> That one, that was, that wasn't that bad. That one wasn't that bad. 
The house alarm one got me so good though. <laughs> Oh, that's so clutch. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's like simply safe. Uh, uh, the, the back door of my house is open. Are you alone in the house, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I should be. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh. What? Why? Are you sure you haven't let something inside, bro? Bro, why are you asking me like your ghost face? What the fuck? Look behind you. <sighs> no, no, I can't do that. No, I can't do this. I can't do this. No. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Hello? This is First Line Security. May I have your name and address, please? Because this is actually First Line Security? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, the first call she got was just in her head. It's whatever is tormenting her. Whatever got Lori, you know. Oh my god. I. <sighs> we did a full sweep inside and out. It's all clear. <laughs> Possible it wasn't fully latched last time it was closed. Uh, bro, can I get, can I just come sleep at the police station with you guys, please? Mustache. Mustache. Oh, this cat better not be dead. Rose, did you break another glass? Uh... No, she's why? <laughs> it's gonna see her outside. Bro, this cat's dead. Hey, if they just imply it and don't actually show it, I'm fine with that. I, I'm okay with that. Like, if the cat dies on screen, then I'll be super fucking hurt. Mm, don't show the woods like that, dude. Come on. What are we doing? <gasps> oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. No. No. Uh, no. I wonder what it, whatever it I wonder what it it looks like whatever Laura saw, you know. <gasps> Wait, what the fuck was that? I'm hearing nothing, bam. <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god. Dude, I Mm, I paused it by accident too. Oh. Oh. oh my. Holy shit. It's the next scene. Oh my fucking god. Dude, that was so bad because I was like trying to listen for what she was like hearing in the audio. And. Ugh. What about the Risperdal? You know. Let's talk again next week before we consider any medication. Yeah, let, 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 let me make sure I can get some of that. Let me, let me make sure I can get some of that, you know? <laughs> oh no. Oh. Why are you smiling? Stop! <laughs> oh god, I don't like this, dude. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, false alarm. Anytime it gets... Anytime it gets too quiet, just dead quiet, I'm going to know it's there's a jump scare. I'm going to know. What'd you get, sweetheart? Oh! No! No! Not mustache! No! Not mustache! Damn. <gasps> oh my god. Oh god. What the fuck are you? Leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> you have to see her! Please, Holly, tell me that you need somebody. Please. Holly. Yeah, now she's really starting out. Oh my fucking god. Oh! Oh, ow. Ah. Damn, yeah, now she's really acting like Laura. And no one's gonna believe her. Hey, Rose. <gasps> I, I heard you were brought into the ER. I wanted to come down and check up. Wait, I just realized where this was from, or I've seen him before. I knew he was familiar, but I knew I like only seen him in one other thing. Dog, uh, guess what I've seen him in. <laughs> it was a fucking epic movie is what I saw. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was an epic movie. <laughs> That's what I saw him from. It's so uh, I can't I can't take him seriously in this movie at all after seeing Epic Movie Dude. <laughs> Look, if you know, you know, alright? If you know, you know. I need to tell you something. And I need you to know that I'm not crazy, okay? Something is happening to me. Evil spirit or energy. But I think that it it killed mm -hmm. my patient. Attached itself to me. I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. Oh, it is. It 100% is. What do you want me to say? I want you to believe me. Rose, you're talking about fucking ghosts. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it well, not a ghost. No, it's not really a ghost. It's like a demon. I cannot fucking do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that, does, that kind of feels like an A-Train reaction a little bit. So it like, gets kind of just funny. <laughs> fuck am I supposed to say to respond to this right now? Yeah. I am not crazy! Dude, it would be frustrating for her, though. You know, like, no one's gonna believe you. You can inherit it from a parent. I looked it up. Why would See? you look that up? See, they're, they're just gonna blame it on that. No, no, please, Trevor, I'm in danger! Rose, did you kill Mustache? No. No, no. no that was not... That was not me. Please. Please. Oh, would you look at that? My camera battery's at 2%. Guess I gotta finish the rest of this movie tomorrow. Oh no. All right, my camera battery has charged and unfortunately we are back. It's suspiciously quiet right now. Mm. Yep, so then he passed it on to Laura. Oh, fuck that. Do not go, okay. And so, and then Laura passed it on to her. And so I guess it, you just, you end your life in front of someone once it finally gets you. Oh, that was, that wasn't the better. I heard it. <laughs> okay, that's not, that's not too bad. Ah! Oh, no. Yeah, that one got me pretty good. I noticed small changes in him. I would catch him having these conversations with himself. He just seems. Yeah, how would you be able to go to sleep, bro? How did she even sleep last night? Like, what the hell? That night the police called and told me he was dead. Oh. They asked me to identify his body. Mm. Oh. I'll show you. Oh. What do you have, like drawings of them and stuff? Yeah, he drew. Yeah, these are drawings. Damn, he was good at drawing. He kept saying it was trying to get inside him. Mm hmm. He died in an accident 20 years ago. It was because he saw that awful woman kill herself. Mm hmm. He watched someone die by suicide. Mm hmm. I assumed you knew this. What was her name? I don't remember. I'd have to find it. Uh, was not insane. Mm-hmm. Yep. What are you, a fucking nutcase? No, bro. I'm a morbid fanatic. How fucking dare you? I mean, it does seem pretty disrespectful. Something is happening to me. Out of my house. Yeah. I want you out of my I, house please, now. Just, just, please give me, give me the name. Get the fuck out of my house! Oh. Ah, uh, the one person she had. The, yep. She is desperate. Come on in. <laughs> I need a favor. Don't ask any questions about it. Terrific. Yeah, let's hear that. <laughs> God damn it. What a bro. What a bro. He gave a witness statement. He was staying at a hotel where a woman committed suicide. Oh. Joel, you said you weren't going to ask me any questions. No, you said I wouldn't ask you any questions. <laughs> Sent. There was a hmm. previous report filed four days before her death. Ooh! That's a weird coincidence. She was also interviewed about a suicide. Yeah, it's just a chain. It's literally just a chain. Oh, yeah, yeah that dude's smiling. Oh, no. You know, my day was going just fine. He rewinded. Dude, watch. She's gonna get this guy next. Like, 
whoever so whoever they commit suicide in front of they pass it on to yeah look at that gr look at that grin now it's just whoever did who does she commit suicide in front of you know it's either gonna be a train or this dude or joel are we here hey what's up hi oh yeah intervention time i wanted to see how you were doing i was talking to my fiance i called her He's worried about you, sweetheart. Right now? Yeah. If that's how you feel, then why are we even together? Ooh. I just don't know. Why don't we all just take a breath and- Why don't you just fucking make yourself at home? Jesus, she is stressed. Yeah, she's going- she's literally going insane. I think that's a good idea. Greg, let me talk to my fucking sister, okay? Maybe Holly! You're, you're gonna come over here and talk to me like that? Huh. <laughs> oh, get out of my way. Or somehow wrapped up in a curse. I, I got it from my patient. She, she was cursed and then when she... And now I'm being threatened by this this entity. Holly, I'm gonna be next. Those curses are not real. You sound just like her. Oh, shit. Did it get their mom? How the fuck would you know that? Mm. I'm sorry, what? You were never around when mom Ooh. got back. I can't have you around when you're like this. Fuck. Dude, I feel bad because no one believes her. I mean, like, yeah, what do you expect? You know, it's kind of like... Like, everyone's just gonna think she's insane, or like... You know, oh, jump scare's coming. Jump scare is coming, I know it. I fucking know it. Oh, that's not her sister. That's not gonna... That's... No. No. Holly. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that bad, but like, I... No. I knew it. Duh. Why didn't you tell me about your patient's connection to the others? Hmm. He's been, yeah, figured it out. Holy shit. Wait, you said, um, 20 cases, but only 19 suicides. Yeah. One of the tally goes and he fucking murders a woman he's never met before completely out of the blue. But get this. Wait, so. Later, the key eyewitness to the murder also commits suicide. So if you murder someone, you're out of it. And if someone sees it. You're out of it. Oh, bet. Who, who are we murdering? Who are we murdering here? We have to do it in front of someone. So the curse goes to them. But that's kind of fucked up because then you're putting a curse on someone else knowingly. And you're murdering someone innocent. <laughs> and then in, at the end, everything about her changed. It was like... Well, it's like the monster is possessing them and making everyone kill themselves. It's not like they're consciously doing it between each victim's death. None of them survived longer than a week. Ooh. Today was my fourth day. Mmm. Is what you experienced in the days leading up to it. A young woman, and she has been seeing something. Mm hmm Sacked. Same thing. What the fuck do you want from me, huh? What is it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's been other chains in the past. Found one that was in Brazil a few years ago. A man there escaped that chain by killing his neighbor and passing it to his neighbor's wife. I was right. Your patient has to make it count. Tell her to use some kind of weapon. Mm -hmm. Make the biggest mess she can. I can't oh. kill someone! Yeah. She can't. And she was saying it was her patient, so he wouldn't think it's on her. You have it? Yep. Fuck did you come here? You're not giving it back to me. Get out of here! Get away from me! Yeah, I, if I were him, I'd be tweaking too like that. Get the fuck out of here. See, the shitty thing is, if you do kill someone, there has to be a witness for it to work. And you have to kill him in a, like, a very messy way, like you said. Dog, you're going to prison if if you do this, because there has to be a witness to see it, and then that witness, unless, unless the witness dies within the four days, hmm, you know, if the witness can't go report it to the police, which they probably could, but if they die before they could, then you're free. But it's like, ah, uh, you know, you're probably going to prison. There's a good, great chance if she kills someone to get rid of it, she's going to prison. Just like that other guy's in there. And it's like, that's so shitty. Wait, 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 what would happen if she was just completely isolated and she had nobody to 
uh, kill herself in front of. Would she just stay alive until, like, there is someone, you know? Or what? Like, if she just never left this house, then she would stay alive in theory. But she'd probably go fucking insane because the thing would just torment her forever. Ah. I got a bad feeling. The therapist is here, but is it actually the therapist? I don't know. We both know I have a responsibility to notify the authorities if you're a danger to yourself or others. I tell her everything, dude. I would tell this therapist literally everything. What? Rose? It's Marion. <clears throat> I've been trying your mobile all morning. I've... God, I fucking knew it! Oh, no, no. No! Almost time! Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not time yet, I guess. Well, well, bro, bro, what if you just start throwing hands right there? Then what? Then what is this thing gonna do, you know? Oh, she's thinking about killing someone. Yep, oh, she's gonna go do it. In the messiest, like, way possible and stuff. That butcher knife. But who, who is it? It's probably her sister. No, oh? Oh, nope, she's at the hospital. Oh, she's gonna kill Carl! But who's, okay, no, then who's the witness? Who are you willingly and knowingly gonna bla uh, put this on, you know? Rose, you can't be around patients. Oh, why'd you pull that down? Oh, yep, she's gonna kill Carl in front of him. That's so fucked. <gasps> oh! Mm -hmm. That's how desperate she is. You gotta keep going, that's not messy enough. Ah! <laughs> Damn. Her Watch this just like be in her head, this isn't real. Oh, Carl is just having it, bro. Carl, Carl, is, Carl can't feel this. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I was just in her head. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think she had the heart to do that, but. <sighs> oh my fucking God. Listen, why don't we go inside together and we can just talk? No. It's... Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. Just okay. relax. I'm gonna make a phone call, right? Nope. Oh my. Rose, don't go anywhere. Hey. Or she's gonna crash. <gasps> she just hit something. Bro, what if she gets into a car crash, and like it's a nasty crash, you know, and like it kills someone, and not there's gonna be witnesses to that. Hmm. Then. Joel. Rose, I saw police APB go out for you that says you're dangerous. What the fuck happened? <laughs> I know what I need to do. What? This what? thing, there's no one else around, and then it has no way to pass. Yeah, exactly. I can deprive it of what it needs. That's sense. Your plan is just to avoid people I, forever? I am not. Oh, yeah, it's not really practical. Coming to you. Just tell me what. <laughs> yeah, see, if there's no one to pass it on to, then, like, what's it gonna do? How does this thing even start in the first place? Like, <laughs> yeah, if she kills herself in front of no one, then. Just die or what? I mean, obviously Rose doesn't want to die, but if you do that, you're saving a lot of people down the road. <laughs> if she's alone, still, it's just gonna torment her. Oh God, fuck that! I wouldn't. <laughs> no, bro, I'm good. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Oh no! What if you kill an animal in front of another animal? Then would the curse pass onto the animal? Like that sounds like that's still really shitty, but it's not but it's not like you're passing it on to another human, I guess. <laughs> I don't like this house at all. Oh, I don't like that at all, dude. <laughs> Her as a kid. Oh, it's her mom from the very beginning. 
Yeah, I swear, I'm, I'm, t I'm saying her mom had the same curse. Mommy made a mistake. Uh, and her mom's trying to overdose and kill herself to get rid of it without passing it on to anyone. That's, okay. That's where all the pills were on the ground for her. In the very beginning. Uh. Mm, I don't like that. She's just waiting till it comes to her. And then she's just gonna have a talk. Never underestimate the power of a good argument. Mm. Just take that lantern and whack her. I am so. No, they're gonna jump scare the fuck out of us. I, ha I have to let it go. This is not real. Mm hmm. Tell her. Her mind makes it real. No. 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 You are not Vecna, bro. No. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Give me my favorite song right now. Oh, oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, if you kill her, there's no one to spread the curse, so joke's on you. Oh, ah. That's kind of easy. It's actually working? I don't think it's working. Because like, it's just in her mind. How would that actually basically hurt the thing, you know? So like, did it work or what? Could you stay with me while I sleep? Actually, I have a girlfriend, so nah. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, of course I'll stay with you. Wow, she's then she's just gonna commit suicide in front of him. It's not even him. I'll stay with you forever. Oh, it's not him. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, yeah, she's still in the cabin. See, I told you, she never left. I was telling you, it's just in her mind. It'll never leave her. <laughs> like, it's all just mind tricks, you know? Rose! Oh, there he actually is. Because he called her the second time, but... Oh, no, she's running back in. No! It was a trick. I feel like that's actually Jewel right there. Like, that's really him. It's like, she talked to him once on the phone, and then she put her phone down in the car. Then he called her. And that the second time he called her was the real time. No! Yeah, she's gonna kill herself in front of him. Dude, it looks like Pennywise. Ooh, that's kinky. Oh. Oh god, no, it's gonna ew. It's gonna get inside her. Bro, this, this, this one Rose! Bad. It's not strapped. Oh my Oh, she's ready. She's just waiting for him. Rose. She's already dead, you know? She's just out of light herself on fire. Oh my god. Damn. Dude, what if he just closes his eyes and runs away? Like, just looks the other way and takes off so he doesn't see her die. I'm sp I'm turning around right now. I'm getting the fuck out of here now. He know he's he should know this. I see you. <laughs> I'm out of here. You kidding me? No. Oh, okay. Oh well, thank God this movie's fucking over. Alright, so that was Smile from 2022. That, that was better than I thought it was going to be, if I'm being honest. That was a lot better than I thought. It focused a lot on mental health and trauma, which was pretty cool to see, you know, them kind of dive into that a bit. But I mean, it does kind of suck because like every time Rose was like, this is happening to me, they kind of just 
put that on her you're like no you're just you're going insane you're having all these issues you know you're having all these mental issues and stuff so no one really took it seriously which pretty much sucks but hey but i mean like yeah i guess what else are they supposed to believe you know that's the most rational justification they could think of so i would say this is probably the scariest movie we've watched on the channel like we've watched other horror movies but those weren't really as like scary you know this one actually got me pretty good a good amount of times <laughs> it wasn't as like suspenseful as other movies we've watched but it definitely had better jump scares but that's what they were trying to go for you know the other movies we watched weren't really trying to jump scare scare us you know this movie was i'd say it was like a pretty good concept of a movie i feel like they made it as scary as they could you know like the concept i don't know if they could have really made it scarier i don't the ending i i kind of just anticipated the ending to be a lot more scary than it actually was you know when we saw like you know well that wasn't like the actual monster i'm guessing it was just like what her mind came up with because yeah it's all just in her mind you know and you know like joel right there now joel is cursed so they could technically make a sequel but i doubt they will i mean yeah it's kind of hard to like look away when that happens because you're like watching it like is, no is this really about to happen you know but i mean like knowing what he knows he should probably look away and just be like oh hell no you know and just like i mean i don't think like a person like a rational person would really sit there and like watch it for as long as he did maybe i don't know i feel like they'd be like what are you doing and then once they like realize oh you're really about to do what i think you're doing and then they start doing it most people would look away then but i don't know maybe joel is just in like a trance to where like once he sees it he like just can't look away something like that i don't know but i mean like it's a good concept like it's a curse that follows from person to person you know and if you commit suicide in front of someone you know the curse is now on them but and if you want to get rid of it you got to kill someone and you have to have a witness see it and everything like okay it's a good current like it's a good concept i feel like and overall it was a pretty fun movie so i'd give this movie um out of 10 i would okay with like a five being average okay i'd give this movie like a six to seven it, it was a little bit above average i would say so i don't know maybe if i rewatch it i'll like it more who knows would i rewatch this movie yes i probably would i'd probably re i would probably rewatch it with some friends you know see what they think of it something like that so but anyways comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching